try lying down on this yes. one? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm not allowed to lie down. No, no, no. The Prime Minister is still standing for now, but the pressure is piling up, and so are the questions. A week after apologising for attending a Downing Street drinks party he believed was a work event, he faces new accusations. He was warned it was a party beforehand that would break COVID rules, an accusation he today denied. Categorically, categorically, that nobody told me and nobody, nobody said that uh, this was something that was against the rules, that was a breach of the, of the COVID rules, that we were doing something that wasn't a, a work event, because, uh, frankly, I don't think, uh, I can't imagine why on earth it would have gone ahead or why it would have been allowed uh, to go ahead. I, my, my memory of this event, as I've said, is going out into the garden for about 25 minutes for what I implicitly thought was a, uh, a work event. The idea that you walked into the garden, there's 40 people there, the tables are laid out with food and drink and there's alcohol yeah. being served in the middle of a lockdown and you think that's a work event, that is just ludicrous, isn't it? You are just taking the mickey out of the British people by no, suggesting No, well, I, I, look, I, I... You know how silly that sounds, don't you? I think what people need to do is wait and see what the, the report says. But I, I repeat my, my deep apologies. And there was the first public apology to the Queen, who sat alone at her husband, Prince Philip's funeral, the day after two other parties were held in Downing Street. The Prime Minister hung his head before responding. I, I deeply and, and bitterly regret uh, that, 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 that that happened and I can only uh, you know, and renew my apologies both to, uh, to Her Majesty and uh, to the country. But that interview has done little to quell Tory anger. Among this group of Conservative MPs elected in 2019, we understand more than 20 have met to discuss plans to remove Boris Johnson as leader. And in a sign perhaps of the Prime Minister's growing concerns about his Conservative colleagues, he chose to spend the afternoon and much of the evening working, not in Downing Street, but much closer to them here in Parliament, in his office in the House of Commons. A chance to gauge the mood and how many may be on manoeuvres. And the bad news keeps on coming. Boris Johnson's former aide Dominic Cummings tonight confirmed he will give evidence to Sue Gray's inquiry and will tell her he personally warned the PM that the party at number 10 on May 20th would break lockdown rules. Today, we asked the occupant of number 11 where he stood on all of this. Do you believe the Prime Minister? Of course I do. The Prime Minister you set out. The truth? Of course I do. The Prime Minister set out his understanding of this matter in Parliament last week, and I'd refer you to his words. If the Prime Minister lied and lied to Parliament, he should resign, shouldn't he? Well, I'm not going to get into hypotheticals. The ministerial code is, is clear on these matters. But as you know, Sue Gray is conducting an inquiry into the situation. I think it's right that we allow her to conclude that job. And you support, Thanks and, very and much. You support the Prime Minister Thanks. unequivocally? Tomorrow, Boris Johnson will get to see just how much support he has as he returns for PMQs, more worried about the party behind him than in front. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10, Westminster.